on guys welcome back to another brand new division video and today we are going to be talking about the high value targets in update 1.4 and everything that they changed everything that you know no, you might not have seen I might not have seen uh, and I want to do a little bit more research on this and make a video for you guys to show you guys why I think it's, it is completely worth it to do these and go for these every week and every day because you guys know that they add new daily contracts and then obviously they have new weekly contracts that reset every week as well so before we do get in the video if you guys do enjoy this video or if you guys find this video helpful to you guys make sure to drop a like on it and subscribe if you guys are new and if you guys have any other questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. It'll help me out. It'll help you guys out. But yeah, guys, let's get in the video. So, obviously, high-value targets are completely worth it to me, in my opinion. It might be based on a different person. But obviously, prior to update 1.4, when we had update 1.3, uh, to be completely honest with you guys, we really didn't have anything to buy uh, with our Phoenix credits, other than maybe re-rolling a weapon. You know, maybe we wanted, you know, Brutal Deadly or something on our weapon. Uh, before that, we really didn't have anything to buy with Phoenix credits. Um... We had the 229 weapons and we had the 268 gear sets, uh, but 229 is usually most definitely always outranked a 220 or 204 weapon. So if there's a blueprint that was 204 uh, that was really close to two, uh, that was really close to you know the update of 1.4 coming out, people probably didn't buy that because they knew that there was going to be something to do with new weapon vendors uh, and new blueprints coming out. So people really didn't want to waste it. They had nothing to spend their Phoenix credits on. And that's the reason why I think high value targets are so completely worth it now. Uh, the division is doing a great job with giving us uh, a variety of weapons that we can get. Uh, they're trying to make all the weapons even as they can, even though some guns are still more overpowered than others. They're trying to make it as easy as we can, as, as easy as it can for us to get, you know, maybe a, just like I said before, uh, there was an LVOAC that was in the advanced weapon character uh, for, you know, almost a week or since the update came out and that was a one, probably one of the best L LVOACs that you could probably get in the game uh, I had the best rolls on it almost you just have to re-roll one of them and you basically had the best gun uh, as well as they're probably gonna start adding you know some new weapon blueprints uh, in the blueprint um, weaponry probably hopefully soon I'm hoping they do uh, but I'm gonna quickly go through the things that they changed just the important things that they changed um, about the high value targets and all that good stuff. Uh, first of all, they did actually add 40 new high value target contracts into the pool. So before, we probably ended up getting the same name targets before. Not that it really matters to me or to you. Uh, they did actually change it. So now, uh, the important thing from that is uh, there was a trio crew. If you guys didn't know, that was, uh, I think it was a weekly. You can only get it like once or two weeks, uh, every once or two weeks before. Uh, and basically what it is, you get three bosses instead of one, and they all dropped greens usually. Uh, it's probably like a 75 or 80% chance that they probably usually dropped a green. And that was pretty cool. So now they add more of those contracts into the pool. As well as obviously they added scaling, so whatever your group, it, how many people are in your group, they're going to scale it down to how many people. Uh, as well as they actually made it cheaper to buy search and destroys, or not search and destroys, uh, the target intels. Uh, as well as they also uh, made the search and destroy characters easy to kill. So. So obviously the enemies in the Sturgeon Destroyers are going to be just a little bit easier to kill. Obviously they made those changes uh, from 1.3 to 1.4. Obviously the normal and veterans are going to be easier to kill. There's going to be more of those instead of you know them being a lot of elites from like 1.3. Uh, also they did actually scale down the group. So obviously the high value targets are going to be scaled down to how many people you have in your group. Uh, the difficulty of the high value targets have been slightly lowered so they're not going to be as hard as they were before. They did also add 40 new weekly contracts to the pool so instead of having 5 daily contracts you're going to have 10, 9 or 10 usually. Uh, the price of the contracts have been adjusted uh, and lowered so obviously they lowered some of them as well as they added the critical search and destroys uh, and the vendors now sell 2 of each contract so obviously that's doubled from before. Uh, but I wanted to quickly tell you guys that obviously don't think of this from a only Phoenix credit standpoint view uh, like some of you guys might be like I sometimes do uh, but think of it as you're not only getting Phoenix credits uh, you're getting these drops as well uh, you know they might not be the best as you know usually uh, but you're still getting something and something is better than nothing and these are basically like Three missions. I mean, you just have you just have to do critical search and destroys. Uh, you know, do four or five of them, and you have enough to do like all the dailies. Uh, they're completely worth it. I mean, you're getting free stuff from it. I mean, free Phoenix credits is basically like new missions they're adding. You just get new missions every day, and then you get seven or eight new missions a week too. And it's you're getting free Phoenix credits. They're giving you like so much Phoenix credits. It's like over six or seven hundred Phoenix credits if you do the weeklies. 
Uh, and you're probably getting like over 1500 Phoenix credits from week if you do everything. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you guys today. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. Tell me, tell me, tell me